Hi guys, so today we are going to harvest and propagate or start the propagation process of thyme. What you want to do is you want to cut it on the fresh part. Alright, so while we're looking here, you see where there's the wooded piece down here, the dark piece, and then you've got all of your lighter areas up here. So we want to cut where it's light, that means it's still alive. Once you hit the brown pieces, that means it is dead. So just as a reminder, I am no expert. I'm learning as I'm going along. Um, there is a, oh, here it is. Got a little guy in here. If you can see him, there he is. He's been living in my time for quite some time now. I don't know where he went. All right, so I was able to remove the spider safely and soundly. <laughs> so he's in nature and not on my plant for right now. If I can find him, I'll put him back on. So, like I was saying, you want to cut above the brown part, but we don't, because we don't want the brown part because that part has already essentially died. And this way we can root our new cuttings. So I will do one or two and then you guys could watch me finish as I cut them. So I'm not going to cut a ton, but I think I'm going to dry some out. So I'm just going to kind of trim over the whole thing. So just like I said, I'm going to get, there's so much time here because it grew so fast, so I'm trying to get it, there's just so much going on here. So I've got my cutting here that it's not focusing on. Here you go, and you can see I cut it off. So now I have two. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this off so I will speed this up for you guys and you can see it after I trim it down or while I'm trimming. Now from what I've learned it doesn't sound like you have to cut it anywhere specific other than just cutting it above where the darker pieces are that I showed you guys earlier. So this is dark, so I want to cut it above that on the fresh growth. So I just wanted to pop in and say you might want to harvest your thyme, maybe a little sooner than this, <laughs> but I find this fun. But I wanted to show you what I have so far. These are all my cuttings. What I'm going to do is probably take a couple sprigs and tie them up and then give them away to people since I'm cutting so much and then I'll probably dry some and then that way I can have some, use some fresh and then I will propagate the rest, but I just wanted to pop in and say that. I'm going to go and finish this up, and I will get back to you soon.
So I think I'm going to stop right here. And that way I have a little more to cut when I need it. But overall, I got quite a bit. So I think I'll be able to give some of this away and propagate the rest. I'll come back and I will show you guys how I've propagated. So this is what I've gotten of cuttings from my thyme plant. Do a little close up here. So you want to make sure when you're taking the leaves off of your stem you're doing it so the bottom of the stem is down here and then the top of the stem is up here. So these are the little pots that I'm going to be planting them in. So I went ahead and I'm going to plant two in each. So that way when I give them away, I'll have, they'll have more than enough to start growing and start a plant. And then here is all my leftover. So I'm going to use some of this and dry some of it for myself. And then what I'm going to do, like I said, is take the little twisty ties and I'm gonna wrap them up and then I will give them away kind of like what you'd find in a store. So I will let you watch me do this. So as you can see, I've gotten all of these ones done. And I will show you, it's not gonna focus here. So you wanna pull them off, they're super easy to pull off and you wanna leave some of the leaves on there, like this. In every place that the leaves were, they're very faint on here, but they've got little nodes and that's where the roots will start coming out of. But you wanna take them about halfway up the stem. You need some leaves on there for them to grow roots. We've got this. So I'm gonna wet down the soil and then I'm going to stick them in there. So I'll show you what they look like when they're done. All right, so what you wanna do is make sure you've got water. And then you're going to take it So I'll top these off with a little more soil. So we've got our pot of two time um, strands. So I'm going to do the rest and I'll speed that up for you. Alright, so these are all my pots that I have each of the cuttings in. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more soil to some of them. Like if they're a little too low. If you watch in the screen here in a second, we should have a big ant walking by. There he is. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this and then I'll post some pictures in here after this of what um, the groups of time look like after I've tied them all together.